So in today's War Thunder video, since it is April Fools, we're going to be looking at this gem of a game, which is Wings of Prey. This is basically War Thunder back in 2009. So War Thunder, if you think about it, has been developed for a very long time now. Like this thing pretty much looks like War Thunder, except for like you throw a early 2000s game coat of paint on it, and then you get this thing, which is just Wings of Prey. As you can see, it, it basically is the same thing as War Thunder, except for a lot of stuff. Uh, is just not correct in this thing as we can see right here crashing like this. It's very hard to control because I, I've looked everywhere and it doesn't seem to have any mouse aim at all. So uh, it's a little bit awkward. And then also the fact that I'm having to use my arrow keys to control this plane instead of WASD like a normal ML War Thunder, which is just crazy to actually think about. I mean, you can do the same thing. You can look around your plane. You can see that I have no uh, gear now, uh, but it's a really cool like way to just look at what War Thunder used to be like. I mean, even though this game's like a 2009 game, it can basically be the same as War Thunder was back in 2013. I mean, it, it, War Thunder just used to be kind of like a flight simulator. And basically this is like the same thing, except for this one was more of a single player experience compared to what we have now with War Thunder, where it's mostly a PVP thing. I mean, as you can see, the engines, they sound very nostalgic to what they used to be. If you want to hear something really crazy, listen to the guns. Yes, that just sounds crazy to me, and also the, the game itself is just washed out with brightness. It just feels very, very odd at the end of the day of things. So yeah, we're going to be climbing up to meet our wonderful other Hurricanes, I do believe, and then we will be attacking probably some HE-111 formations, and we'll see how that will go. So while we went into this mode right now, while we're catching up to our hurricane friend over here, I'm going to take a screenshot of this, of this cockpit right here, or I'll just put the video in, right? And then I'll put a screenshot of the exact same cockpit from War Thunder, and we will see the differences of the graphics, just at least in the first person view, which is crazy to think about. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much got the same views as War Thunder. You can even go into like the virtual cockpit, which is always kind of cool to see. And then you have the third person, which to me at least, like playing with this, like kind of like a like set up it just feels weird honestly i'd prefer to just be in first person kind of like a sim but i don't know it's crazy to think about this basically is war thunder and not many people ever get to experience this again uh, this game is on steam you're able to get it i do believe there's some uh issues oh god this is very hard to fire there's like some issues with the anti-cheat or not really the anti-cheat but like the like uh wow that's a weird mechanic of the spitfire or we're also playing uh realistic by the way but uh, there's a weird thing to do with the DRM. Wow, hang on. This is bad. Hang on, I don't know what my rudder key is. No, no, this is bad. I don't know what the rudder key is on this thing. Uh, hang on. Oh, we can pause it. We can pause it. Hang on, hang on. Let's go see. What is rudders, please? Uh, I know we can't save this, but we got to see. Rudder left is... Wow, that is like on the other side of the keyboard. Okay. Uh, Z and X compared to my arrow keys. I know I can change it. I'm just kind of lazy to do it. All right, let's see if we can get out of this like stall before uh, we crash. Uh, we're not gonna be able to. Ah, uh, rip. But the flight models definitely feel a lot different compared to War Thunder's there. Like as you see right there, we it, that was like a weird stall animation of where it just like basically stalled us out to where we couldn't do anything other than like maybe use our rudder. I mean like. For War Thunder's sake, stalling is very easy to get out of, but that one just felt like super odd, super awkward in a way. But yeah, we're kind of far away from the HE-111s once again, so we'll probably catch up with them and we will get back to the video at that point. Well, it seems like our wonderful uh, co-pilot, I guess, like uh, destroyed him. Uh, that bomber's gonna crash. Let's see, what is the explosions? Wow. Honestly, that doesn't look that bad. Like. Like the initial explosion, now it definitely looks bad with just a fire, but the initial explosion of that thing, honestly, did not look that bad. And also, we're about to stall again. This is so awkward to fly like this, by the way. I'm, I'm so used to, like, holding my C key to look around, and then, like, if I want it to switch back, it just switches back. It, it definitely is a game that the sense of flight, in a way, is just different, and I kind of don't like it. Because I'm, I'm having to look up at my left side now, just see what my like speed and everything is, just to kind of get a gist on what's kind of happening. Alright, where's our teammate going off to? What do we got to do with this dude? Got to follow him around, I guess. But yeah, I'll take another, just like, hang on, I'll do this. We'll take two like videos at the same time of just looking at a hurricane from the side. 
and just see the differences. Like I even wonder right now, like I'm looking at it within the game, is the numbers on the side of the spit, or not Spitfire, but the Hurricane we have right now going to be different compared to War Thunder, or was it just like directly ported over into the game? That'd be kind of interesting not to see once I like go in to edit this video. All right, we have some more bombers this time. Let's see if we can actually take them out. Uh, I don't know what the zoom is for this thing. Oh, this is so awkward. <laughs> this is, uh, we're just firing fire for effect at this point. Now we hit them. Oh man, I don't know what it is, but the fly models of this game just feel bad. Like I, I, I 100% miss the fact that I'm normally able to use a mouse to kind of like pinpoint the aim. So it's definitely a lot harder to, why aren't you still shooting at me, son? Okay. We got the zombie bombers just like we do in real game, where you shoot somebody down and they just have like your gunners still shoot at you, which is kind of crazy. Man, it's so rough just trying to actually just figure out, like I do have a shotgun, I guess, <laughs> when it comes to these 12 uh, 7.7s. Okay, you can't overheat. Okay, that's kind of actually interesting. What about their guns? Ah, oh, it seems like they got my engine as well. Yeah, I'm like falling behind bombers at this point. I do like the little hit cam at the bottom right. Uh, that kind of feels like a better thing than uh, War Thunders does. I got them right now. Is this bomber trying to like shoot me down? Yeah, we'll probably go off tramps because we're like losing the other guys. Ow. Don't shoot me down, please. God, this is so awkward, man. You know, whenever whenever people tell me that, oh, dog, I wish we could go back to, like, 2013 War Thunder. And, like, 2013 War Thunder has nothing to this. Like, it's still, like, 20 billion times better. But I just kind of get reminded of, like, this, of this, how the game looked. And, you know, how the game controlled. Even though mouse aiming was there at that point. Man, I, I just couldn't even imagine playing War Thunder like this. This is just, this just feels bad. Which also, it, I kind of feel like my plane's engine is just dead, so let's bail out. Let's get, get into another one. Alright, so we should be able to catch these guys now, since our engine shouldn't be shot up. Definitely not a fan at all of, like, the, like, brightness, I guess. Also, these, like, bombers are shooting from very far away. I just wish for War Thunder though, there would be like a reason or like be financially viable to make like single player missions again. Cause I don't know, like, like I understand like the like gist of War Thunder is like a PV, PV like P focus, right? But I don't know, something just like shows me that like playing something like this is just kind of like fun. It's kind of like dumb fun in a way. You know, you don't really have to try or anything. You don't really have to like worry about, you know, doing well. It's just like, oh, let's play some like historical, you know, battles or something like that. And, Honestly, I think that's like War Thunder is what it's been missing for a very long time. Of just like dumb fun. Where it's not like, you know, who has the better top tier thing or something like that. And single missions, to me at least, can be that. You know, where it's just like, you jump in, you play the match. If you lose it, you lose it. And if you win it, you play another one. Or you find another one that you like. Let's see here. How far away can I shoot these guys? Oh, there's an instructor. I can feel it. Look, I'm, I'm. There's like an instructor to this. Oh, that is so odd. I, I remember this in like early War Thunder smoke tracers. 100% of this reminds me of those. Also, the shot up my engine again. Uh, I 100% I think playing this on like an Xbox controller would, would probably be better. Also, they are very generous when it comes to these bombers, aren't they? Most of the time, War Thunder would be pilot sniped already. And look at that, like, damage model. Oh, that is just so... Man, it's just so interesting, man. As someone who played War Thunder during, like, the 2013 time, it's... It's like it's like one of those memories that just gets lost about what the game used to look like and then you will play it now and it's kind of like uh, what's it called right 
Yeah, that's the first mission completed. Uh, let's see, we're going to continue this for right now. Because I, I just want to do like comparison shots, right? So we're going to see a lot of comparison shots. Because we do have this map right here, Dover, in War Thunder. So we'll be able to like compare it in like a in like a hurricane to just kind of see what it looks like. Which, I don't know, it's, it's going to be night day difference. Like I just know it is. And we'll kind of like recreate the shot at the same time. So yeah, this is Wings of Prey still. Um, I honestly, I don't know. For a 2009 game, this looks kind of crazy. Looks kind of cool. But uh, for War Thunder, like looking at it now, just looks really bad. Oh, what was that like popping of the cockpit? But yeah, we'll compare the cockpit to this one as well. For War Thunder, we'll put in a thing so you're able to see it. But the cloud cover in this looks really bad compared to what we have now. So we are in the P-51, going against uh, probably some like D-12s. Oh, he actually got me. Wow, you're, okay, that's interesting. So your 50 cals keep shooting after you die. Honestly, if you're like uh, looking to me of like, dog, should I buy this game? No. Uh, the War Thunder, the War Thunder like single missions already in the game are just like a way better experience than this. And also, this mechanic is just so stupid, the stall thing. I shouldn't just randomly get through into a flat spin every time it stalls. I really don't like that mechanic. It's kind of stupid. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend this game. I would definitely recommend just playing regular War Thunder doing the single missions. And having my experience from that, you're just going to have a way better time than playing this. But it is pretty cool just see the nostalgia. And just see uh, what War Thunder kind of just used to look like in a way. Oh, got shot down again. Rip. <laughs> that is such a dumb mechanic, man. Come on. It very, very much overestimates the uh, stalling in this game. Uh, That's just annoying. Also, the lack of mouse aim kind of sucks as well. I just die. Wow. Okay, I did, literally did nothing. But yeah, this game's on Steam. Do I recommend it? No. But at the same time, if you want to see what War Thunder kind of used to look like back in like 2013, this is definitely a game to do so. So yeah, hopefully all of you are having a wonderful, like either April 1st, I believe this video is coming out. So hopefully all of you are having a wonderful time with that. Hopefully the April Fool's event is doing well. And if you want to see what the menus used to look like, here you go. It, uh, this is basically all you used to do. Like what is an extras? Uh, what you get a pilots? What is this? What it? Uh, what is this? It's okay. Whatever. You guys can make a meme out of this, man. Hope all you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys in the next War Thunder video.